I've been doing integrated reports for so many years, and to my shame, I must say, <laughs> I didn't really think about it in, in this level of detail. And when I started doing this work, I realized I'm missing a trick. Um, and this is what we call materiality. So materiality is an important aspect. It's not just important for financial um, statements. I mean, financial and accountants live and breathe by materiality, right? Your materiality levels, yes, suddenly. If it's below materiality, you don't worry too much. When it goes beyond, your auditors are on you, your audit committee, you've got to focus, right? You've got to make sure that your schedule of errors are, are within limits. Okay. And it's the same in the case of sustainability and ESG. It is what is material to the company. So you've got different types of materiality. I'm showing only two, but there's a third one. But let's just first start with the first one. Financial materiality is the one that everybody understands. We are well familiar with it. I mean, the accounting system has been with us for more than 200 years. We understand the ratios and everything. So it's about what is material to the financial position and performance of a company. Happy days. So your IASB standards in terms of the IFRS Foundation, right? Then we move to double materiality. Sorry, before I go to double materiality, um, impact materiality. Impact materiality is the inward out. So there you ask yourself, what is material from the perspective of my stakeholders? Can you see the difference? So in other words, how does, how do the company's operations impact the broader society as well as nature? Um, and that is what we call materiality. So you've got a totally different focus. When you combine financial materiality and impact materiality, that's what you call double materiality. How many of you are following or considering the JSE voluntary guidance documents. Are you familiar with those? So the JSE issued our two documents, guidance notes, in June of last year. The one is general sustainability and the other one is climate change specific. And the JSE follows a double materiality approach. In the European Union, they also follow a double materiality approach. So you've got to report on a lot. In America, they follow a single materiality approach. So that means all information which is pertinent to the financial performance of a company. That is what they consider. To be important, the rest you don't have to report on. So now I'm speaking about reporting. Okay. Then we have another animal we call dynamic materiality and dynamic materiality is in between financial materiality and double materiality and this is where integrated reporting comes in so we are familiar with the integrated reporting framework we understand the six capitals and the definition of integrated reporting according to um, they now part of the IFRS Foundation, but it is a concise communication about how an organization's strategy, governance, performance and prospect, so it's the whole realm of what a company does, in the context of its external environment, lead to the creation of value over the short, medium and long term. So that is what integrated reporting is. It's about communication, it's about narration. It considers the resources and the relationships. Remember way back when, uh, when I started off, I said two key things, natural resources and relationships. So natural resources relates to the E in ESG and resources relate to the S in relationships. So it considers the resources and the relationships a company draws on in order to create value. Can you see how beautiful these things fit together? It just works.